uh, where you actually not only put the energy back in balance, but you jumpstart the flow of the energy. Uh, kind of like a plunger cleaning the pipes. And that's what I've been uh, using lately, uh, that method. It, it takes about 15, 20 minutes, but it, it does incredible wonders. If you have um, illnesses such as depression, do you mm -hmm. feel that in a different part of the body than a normal illness? It, it will feel more in the, in the energy field a little bit away from, from the physical body. Hmm. So closer to the physical body, you actually feel more of the physical body and you go a little bit away and you feel more of that emotional and, and um, you know, mental bodies. So that also makes... Uh, so yes. if somebody's aura is detached or there's leaks coming through by doing this, this will actually also keep the aura whole and balance the energies? Well, yeah, well, um, again, we don't know why those, those energies or how they are influenced. And uh, we can go into literally weeks of talking about, about uh, those and how we can actually find out uh, what the reasons are for those changes. But um, any which way, you, you can find the leaks, you can find the holes or whichever way we call them, you will always find the problems. And the ultimate uh, goal is to balance it out. Okay. okay? Any questions? Well, thank you very much for your attention. And um, actually, we can play a little bit. We have a few more minutes. Yes. If you would like to feel and experience this yes. energy. Um, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I can I'm line sorry. you up and pull you all back just for, <laughs> uh, for fun. I can be an interrupter. When you are up against the wall, your energy, I've seen it kind of starting from like your right above your headline, is that too close, or was I, did anyone else see that, or was it Again, farther up? Again, it takes practice, up? this was your first because time I that you saw that I, it. Yeah. But I seen it move, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how close it was, or if that was the, the right, what I was seeing was right. It, it was and right. You don't want... But I, whichever way you see it, but when you saw it moving, I that's how we know that that's what you saw. Okay. So it, it, everybody will see it in a little bit different way. Okay. You know. Uh, you're, you're all different, your minds are different. Um, if I tell you about the little house on the hill with the red roof and the white chimney, you all see a little house with the red roof and white chimney on the hill, but you all see a different hill, different house, different mm -hmm. roof and so mm -hmm. on. The main thing is to see it. <laughs> my other question was, have you ever run across someone with so much energy, energy like yours, or how do you is, is that a conflict? Um, not really. No. No, it's it's only in your mind. Eventually, you know, it's uh, you can protect yourself well. Um, just like what you said before, you know, you you put a mental uh, wall, yeah. or or you just you may all be very open-minded and very outgoing and happy. And you know, most people I hang with are happy like <laughs> that. So <laughs> it's all a good good influence. Um, Any more questions? Yeah, huh. Shanta, how long does, uh, or how far uh, healing distance can you do? There's no limits. It, it can go to just about any distance. Uh, as we talked about the electricity before, uh, the, the farther the electricity goes, the, the more power it will lose, right? Because of the resistance in those wires. Here, with this energy, there are no resistances. It can go to any distance. Um, I have clients pretty much everywhere uh, around the world. People call me, like Betty called me from London. You know, people call me from Europe. I have clients in Australia, I have clients in Canada, I have them uh, just about anywhere. And it, sometimes it even works better than, than being here in person. Mm -hmm. Just like I didn't touch you uh, from a short distance, it can literally go to any distance without touch. The only difference is that here, I was talking to you, and I was able to work because everything is automatic. Um, when it's long distance, I have to concentrate a little more. I have to visualize a little more. Although sometimes even that is optional. Um, so you can be on the moon and, and this, this would work <laughs> on it. There are different theories how it works. Now that, again, we can bring in quantum physics, you know, whether it's uh, a coincidence that it goes with the vibration of the planet or whether it's something totally different. Hey, we all use radios, right? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, how does that work? Frequency. So when Frequency. you're working with somebody right. long distance, do they, well, you know, lie down on, on a bed or sit in a they chair? They can be driving their cars, it really? doesn't matter. I mean, I, some, some people ask me, you know, like, I don't know, recently I had uh, a psychiatrist call me and uh, he heard me from somebody else who had uh, the long distance experience and it worked. And he was a believer in this. He, all his life, he, he was touching the energy one way or another. But he called me like, listen, I mean, I got this hip problem and so on. However, my wife has these and these problems. Can we do this that she doesn't know about it? <laughs> She's a non-believer. <laughs> absolutely. So she doesn't really have to sit down or lie down. And some people like to feel it and experience it, feel the, mm -hmm. the tingling and, and feel the, the energy itself. Then we set a certain time and then they will lie down or get into a comfortable position and they will feel it. But um, some people can just you know, go without knowing and uh, it still works. Great. Thank so um, you, can, you can check it out on my website. I have a better uh, information about it. And that so, would be? Chongordaniel.com. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, C-S-O-N-G-O-R-D-A-N-I-E-L.com. And that's all explained there. Okay, thank you again very much. I enjoy the group. Hope you all enjoyed and learned something new, and there oh. will be more coming. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's line you up, and uh, we can just do that like as a finishing thing. Uh, kind of like a, how about like this, facing the uh, the, the bookshelves, so that way the camera can see as you move back. How do you hit somebody? Not well, I'm not going to hit you. I'm just going to pull you off. <laughs> I'm just going to pull you back. That's all. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, I don't have to. I mean, it's, uh, that, you know, if I went into that, that would be another hour. So right. it was like just in case if I run out of ideas. You, know? <laughs> you have a motor's book, all right? Okay. Uh, put your hands to your side. And, of course, don't freak out. It will just take a... Uh, few seconds, just a little concentration. See you with the sensitive ones right away. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pull you a little more now. Don't freak out. I have to make sure that nobody oh, freaks out that. or passes out. There you go. <laughs> okay. Is that enough? <laughs>